Hi guys, today I've come to Whitechapel in London's East End. Most renowned as the stomping ground of serial killer Jack the Ripper. But on a lighter note, welcome back to Vlogmas. Now, as you can probably hear from my voice, I've got man flu, self-diagnosed man flu. For any ladies watching, you're immune to man flu. The symptoms on the outside look a little bit like what you would describe as the common cold on the inside, they're far worse. Now, there's no cure for man flu, but there are certain medicines that can relieve the symptoms. One of them is super spicy food. So I thought rather than um, calling in sick, tweeting in sick, cancelling Vlogmas for today, I'd come to the uh, famous Brick Lane here in Whitechapel which is also famous for its curry houses and all things spicy and see if we can't beat this so let's go and see what we can find Brick Lane has been the curry capital of London for decades now the east end of London was historically a slum you can see from the architecture over the last few centuries it's obviously had periods of regeneration and then decline and that appears to have been a repeated cycle a bit rough around the edges meant traditionally it would have been inexpensive to live here it's not anymore so over the past few hundred years it's been home to Londoners but also wave after wave and community after community of immigrants first French then Irish and this century workers from India Pakistan and Bangladesh and probably the whole of the Indian subcontinent obviously as part of the community they build and shape it to their wants and needs so over a few decades more and more businesses would have been established I guess at first to supply the large Bangladeshi community here but slowly over time the locals and tourists from all over the world have come to love the culture and certainly the food of all of the Indian subcontinent countries and Brick Lane is a hub for it. Welcome to Brick Lane. Much of Brick Lane was and still is home to the old Truman Brewery, the Black Eagle Brewery. It shut down in the late 1980s but it was at one point the largest brewery in the world and it was and is a sprawling collection of industrial buildings. The old brewery buildings are now used for a variety of things. They are home to hundreds of small businesses but the larger warehouse spaces also host a variety of markets so we'll go and check them out. There's also, in recent years, become a mecca for the art world and fashionistas who host many fashion and art shows in the surrounding buildings and in the brewery itself, of course. Although the area is traditionally famous for its curries, more recently it's become renowned for its street art.
pretty cool, huh? something super spicy beat the man flu There's a whole art and fashion market in here as well, as well as the food. And rice, please. Yeah, big one or small one? Um, well, a big one is six pound, only one pound different. A big one, please. Yeah, you want me nice and little? Rice, please. Going with Sri Lankan lamb curry. Morning, everybody, try something. Hopefully, it's hot. Tandoori chicken masala. Thank <laughs> you. 
Enjoyed this short and sweet vlog, well no, short and spicy. Quick tour of uh, London's Brick Lane. Hopefully the medicine will do its trick and a normal festive service will resume again tomorrow. So until tomorrow, Merry Christmas. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Toodles, until tomorrow.